Nexus here for the OG squad. You have the Death Warden, the Mystic Stake, but uh-oh. Wow. They were ready for this. Hey, little Riki. And the arrow connects oh, Alliance yeah. quick, I'm decisive first blood. First That's a blood. great Sentry War placement. It, it covers just about end. every little area. As soon as he walks up, they, they put another one down and they just pop the Metamorphs they get first blood. It's just that easy. The, the reason Stay why out. you don't so normally see teams do that is combat. if you if the Rigi doesn't make that move into your jungle and you drop that Sentry, you now are going to lose the D-Ward battle mid, which means Rigi is going to crush you, oh but instead of Lions, they find a second arrow, a second kill. You're still up against four ranged heroes and a drow. So if you don't keep on finding kills, things are going to be dicey, but it looks like they'll find another Alliance, mod. That's where Miracle will likely look to join uh -oh. the team. Oh, Moon's going to go top, but immediately Loda turns around and says, I've got meta, and he's going to turn on Moon for the 10. Look at the flame break, it might burst it down. He's going to get down two. Will, and Aki is now going to get caught out. Base Phoenix will keep him alive for now, but the Sticky Napalm stacks will still stack up here. Ake getting chased down, purifying flames. Moon is low, and he actually sticks up, and he gets the kill. I don't think... Moon had a wand. I don't think he used it still. Now Lodo's in trouble again. Top of the smoke screen. Oh, bad. Another sticky napalm. Two stacks up. They have the cast even coming up for fly. frustration. You really wanted that kill. And that that was that's the Riki effect. Gets the lane ward up behind the tower. He recognizes there's no Oracle there, and then they go. But mid lane miracle caught out as the drow and will not fall. Lota. That's not again in trouble. There is no lasso, but he's gonna hunt him out. He has the flame break, the blink forward. No mana for a smoke screen, but they still have him. He's got no sunder. Her lane when she hits level six simply by existing because she will fall. Or he comes out from no tail mid lane and S4 and EGM are now both stoned up. That cast, the cast will bounce through like crazy. And S4 and EGM still, there's not enough damage. Great Fortune's down on the two. Flies gonna use his Buddha Restoration and actually split up No Tail. Here comes the Mystic Snake. We'll do some nice work behind the tower again. And S4 is looking for a potential arrow target. Oh, Crit is looking for a potential S4 kill. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, there's a good chance. So, uh, smoke screen is late. They still are gonna run him over and get the last two TPs coming in. But it's not going to be enough. No, they have the forces in time. The gun is there. Aki will keep his life up to kill. Or They're going to lose a lot here, Vaughn. This is bad for Alliance. They get the perfect chrono. Even with it, they still lose two. And they're going to lose the tower. Completely shuts down the Alliance gank. But they're still going to chase. Good custom. Now Bulldog. False promise will come through. But there's the death ward coming in as well. Loda going to work on Moon, but not enough. Still, no tail going to damage on Bulldog as well. And he just gets blown up after the false promise. Loda with no Sunder is about to fall to Miracle, who just continues to plank a boy with the right click. They're going to chase after EGM. They don't have any oh, more. They have Chrono up. Roche is low. Can they fight? They're about to get in. They get the eggs in time. That's a great oh, Chrono Spear. Crit's still low. This Star Storm, it's enough damage to at least take down one. The Gust will come through. Fly up and ready. He's got the Voodoo Restoration and his wand. Meanwhile, Bulldog able to get out in time. Not enough damage from Miracle at the very least. He's looking to turn around. Look to Ake. And look at that damage from the double damage rune. No uphill miss there. Just punishing them. Steamrolling towards a very early lane of Rax here. This is the last down Tower mod. They're gonna kill off EGM. Death War comes through into Fire Blast. He's just trying to do anything he can, but the only thing he can do is eventually die. We see Lona as well. Good cloud by Crit. Can they get more? Gonna gust onto two now. Bulldog again still in trouble. Can he get out in time? Another great cast coming out from Fly and the Witch Doctor. There's the tricks of the trade. Bulldog trying to TP home. He will, I think. Loda has mines. Sunder and ain't gonna use it. Oh, Alliance. OG showing Alliance what many teams learned the hard way at Summit, at Star Ladder. You don't give Drow away without a plan. And so far, the plan yet to emerge. Now the Stone Gaze, Bulldog being forced back. Loda will get caught. Will die again. Six deaths on the Terror Blade, yet to claim a kill. And Miracle looking for the punish. Onda Ake finds him too. Now they blink forward for EGM. They've got the lasso as well. Bulldog forced to use the Chrono, but misses on Moon. However, they get the kill with a nice multi cast proc coming out from EGM. And Miracle is going in a bit too deep. He does have the Aegis, but just be careful. Bulldog is going to get silenced again. The Death Ward. See you later. And the Gust onto S4 as well. Two or three more right clicks to do it should do it. And that. Yeah, that'll kill him. Alliance are getting farmed inside their own base. I mean, this, this is yeah. over, and That's Alliance it. know it. They call the GG. That's just you, Drow Ranger. If you're gonna play against the Drought, you gotta have a plan. We've seen teams beat it, but it's still difficult. And what Alliance tried to play, they got first blood, three more kills after that. Like, if you can't win against Drow from that point, and I don't think they made any horrible mistakes until the game was already out of reach anyway.
Griff just wasn't able to Miracle. beat the draw. A parade of charred gold. Boulders, boulders, boulders. Miracle is going to take two and actually will be able to avalanche, but a couple more right clicks and a jump up from S4 will try to get the kill. Jukes through the tree. They will find him. It is for his not blood. Been really successful. Let's try to find something else. Top lane TP. Ravage is going to go. No tail caught. The arrow is going to come through as well. That'll be a long enough stun to get this kill. He's just, he leached a lot of experience early game. He's still doing pretty well, but he's actually below um, Miracle right now. They're looking for Fly. Double damage run on S4. He's going to drop S4 fast. wants to clear out the illusions and try to get this kill on no tail. And he needs kind of some help, though. He's the only one here. Is everyone else mid for Alliance? I don't think he can get this kill with a TP, maybe. Is the start for the quadruple? Oh, he did get it. Are you kidding? Another oh my God, that item is so ridiculous. <laughs> what, what did Marana lose? I think she lost one game yesterday, right? I think so. I, I believe that's what Paul said. Oh, meanwhile, Miracle gonna find Ake, picks him off quickly. That move, He's looking for S4, the follow up there from Crit. No more smoke cloud though. Starstorm, Crit has to fairy fire and heal back up. And EGM is going to work on Moon. Arrow coming through, can't find anything. And neat. They'll actually go to work. The call is going to be for Moon, but he's still taking the Shadow Wave. He's going to be carrier. The jump back to the Star Storm. We'll have to see if it ends up costing them, but it could be the difference maker. He's Illuminates. Now the song will come through. There's three kind of in good form here for an Avalanche if they want to go for it. But Moon like attack a Fountain, pace. though. They don't have their axe for this. This is Ravage on No-Tail coming in. A toss back from Miracle to make sure No-Tail stays alive. Call on to two coming out. Hold on low, and there's the calling blade for one. Can he get two? The second one? Yes, there it is. A double for Moon. They've stopped the push now in its tracks. S4 was looking for that Star Storm. And now gets tossed up and will get brought down. Crit's last right click with the really backstab. They want to drag the you game can't, out. You can't drag the game out be because then you're just going to lose. You don't have any real late game other than S4's Marana, which is pretty good. Maybe double Loda. ravage. Aki can dish out a lot of damage, but Loda has been encroached upon. No tail, as well as crit and moon are getting ready. They're looking for the blink. The ensnare will go, and Loda's in some trouble as the blink strike is going to come next. And the diffusal blade revealed, but the counterplay comes. Ravage there, the zone lets them disengage. The TP's out one. I, I think actually his avalanche toss and one right click would kill her anyway, but mm -hmm. it. You know, you eventually get the silver edge. Here we go, Avatar. Yeah. Everyone on OG is just running around invis looking for free frags. Loda will be the next choice. Avatar, spin and dead, chopped down. And now on to S4. He walks back into the cloud. Got leap but out. They will disengage. No mana here on Moon, so they can't get off another chop. Crit was doing enough damage, so he had to back away. Moon trying to TP. I don't think he's going to be. Yeah, he won't be successful as the Shadow Wave comes down. He kill on Loda, but now uh, Moon's lane. dead if he doesn't shoot this one, and he doesn't. Oh, there's a smoke. Moon is looking for S4. That is a huge pickup if they can find it. There's the mana drain if he leaps away. He'll lose a lot of his mana, but not nearly enough. There's the life drain. Echo coming, though. S4 and Miracle just hitting the combo off. And he is done. S4 down for 60. And here comes Crit. Onto the fight. Onto EGM. Brings him down as well. Bulldog just gets ensnared. Ignored. And now they're going to come back from Preppy with the song. They've got a call, a chop ready, a cloud in two seconds. I don't even think he gets a Ravage off the trip time just correctly. The Purge doesn't actually use the Fusal Blade charge there. So they do get off the Ravage. It's on to four. No Tail's going to drop. Can Alliance turn this? Good buy back coming out from S4. He came in with a Star Storm. Crit's coming, looking for that gem. Does pick it up in time, but they have vision. Oh, and these heals from Fly on the back lines, keeping the frontliners. Oh but not long enough. They gem is now down in the deck. It's actually two gems, one on Bulldog, the other, I believe, on Deloda, and they will lose two with that buyback from S4, which is a lot of money. Might lose Fly, the impetus. Oh, the blinding light, but the arrow. Oh, my Down Lord. on the steps. Oh, but my they have God. No vision of it. They don't, but if he walks in, he, see, he should Moon. see it. How did he know? No way. How does he know? Seriously, gonna go for this? Thanks. Oh my god, he's actually going to get it. That's... Moon is actually a god. I can't oh, believe he just crap. did that. That's just that... a moral victory, even if OG lose this game. Meanwhile, top lane, Miracle with the split push, banging away on power. He's still in trouble. They have I they have another gem, and yeah, it's on Bulldog. Ravage also ready. They really want this Miracle kill. Will they find it? The Crepify comes through. Yeah, they're going to get him, I think. Life Dream will bring him down. The arrow comes through. 13 it. seconds, arrow's going to come in, and there's the song. And Crit's here as well. This is the setup now. LD will see what they can do with this. Song to start. What's going to follow? There's an illusion mid farther back, cutting the wave. OG dropping the cloud, but Alliance have gotten onto high ground here. They were just trying to wait for it. There's the call. It's a good one, Mott. Is it good enough? 
Blinding Light will go, trying to push them back. Moon taking infantry hits, and Esper's gonna come in. There's that BKB, no more ages, but they will push them back and they'll get the range track. The Illuminate coming through will do a lot of damage. Guarding groups up and staring to S4. BKB about to go down as well. That 10 second charge is done. There's the Moonlight Shadow. Where's the vision for OG? They have the gem on no tail, and that melee rack. Bulldog wants to walk in. Ravage is still available. But they, oh, Miracle as he jumps in, he doesn't have a toss, he decides to back away, the life drain breaks him low, he's almost dead, he's got to go home. And Alliance, moving into position, looking for this Rax, they need to focus the target down. Bulldog out of mana for now, he just barely has Ravage mana, but it's burnt away again. Drake coming out, another Illuminate, and it looks like they might get this melee Rax here. S4 comes in looking for a Star Storm, doesn't hit anybody, and they're going to be able to force back. Trade for them, but even trading at this stage, Alliance have to be fairly happy with that. Round two is going to come, though. They have a song ready soon. Crit scouting things out. Screen S4 cannot afford to go down here. There's the call as well. And the toss back. S4 is still alive for the time being. Now he gets off and they can miss the calling plate. And S4 will stay alive with the grave. Rims out, but a fresh battle hunger and a blink from crit secures it. Now they look for more. The song comes through. Connects on two. Then a blink call to drag Loda away from the fight. Will the follow-up be there? Okay, walks into the song, the toss up EGM slow, still silenced up, now we'll live, alive and use that grave, but it's on cooldown for another 10 seconds, crit still, now the Ravage comes through, it'll hit onto three, the Illuminate trying to heal Miracle, but it's still night time, and if it's hit, long range does enough damage from Ake, from downtown, and Moon will get caught as well, look at that rage coming out, it's gonna happen all over again, oh, as I say that, a Miracle does get caught, but fly there to the rescue. Shadow Blades away, more than fast enough, Bulldog down bottom looking for a potential Ravage, and the Miracle looking to push back in with the Shadow Blade, just constantly pulling Alliance apart at the seam. Now hitting the Rain Drags as they chase south. Even if they get these kills, Miracle's the one hitting buildings. BKB committed, brings down the Rain Drags. Still, the fight raging on south. S4 forced to TP home. Oh, what a double call from Moon to keep them inside this bottom lane. Still, they've TP'd home. No tell pops the BKB to get out. The life tree not doing anything. S4 coming with the Star Storm ready to go. As soon as that BKB is down, maybe an arrow. Back down bottom. Moon's still going to work. Full Ravage. Pops the Ravage and really? Going to work. Just on Moon? Moon's like, seriously, man, are you gonna do me like that? But okay. okay. Got the kill chop. No, he doesn't have the mana, but he has to use his right click, which is super slow. And then the mid lane. Out again. S4 gets off the BKB in time. He's there, he's there. There's the toss down, but they get off the great gray from EGM, who's caught in the smoke screen. Is oh, Trick gonna clean up, though? He might get two, maybe three here. Tricks of the trade. Now EGM getting hit the hell out of there as the chase goes on to Loda. Miracle gonna beat him down. Tiny with the big stick going to work and Loda will fall. That's one and a half lanes. By Vax of Plenty likely to be coming out here. There are eight on the field. One of them gets committed now. Enchanter then Pugna back in the fight. They're down a Ravage Alliance R. They might be able to force the Naga to buy back, but already Miracle just sweeping in mid again and again, threatening with these deep journeys towards the Alliance base. The Hex, the Stars from Arrow's missing. Now the Gush, BKB, TP should be able to get out the infantry hits. He's Wolfian. out of there. S4 is the only one there right Alliance now. Alliance say, screw it, man. We're just going down mid. We take a case with TP's Blink calls down to three. EGM calling play. Where is it? Moon gets one. Can he find Loda? Pops the BKB. The life drain will go. Four seconds to the high ground. And still in mid. Miracle goes to work. S4 with a timely BKB. Miracle gets to work with his own. He's just going to hit buildings for now. The melee about to fall. And back on the other side, Crit hops under tricks of the trade. Stalling out Alliance as long as possible. Two lanes down. Looking for the third. The song TP from no -Tail covering the retreat. Miracle will make it out as well. The Rat Kings are being killed by Rat Tactics. Moon was in there. He came in late. He said, where did everybody go? They Indeed. all keep it up. Firmly accruing that advantage. And now they can find themselves one lane of racks away from Maker Creeps. At that point, Alliance will not be leaving the base. And they could just very slowly roll in as Loda gets jumped, quickly no dropping. No buyback. 90 seconds on the sideline, but now the call. S4, BKB, he needs to pop it. Calling Wave, not there. It's just going to miss as, of course, the Shadow Wave came through with a wand or some heal among that. Now you they're going to up and... Hitting Bulldog, but really, I think he should just be hitting buildings. There's the song on EGM, and Aki the call again, connecting. Dazzle going down. Aki could be next. This looks like the end for Alliance. s force coming in. He's going to get defused up. He just blinked in, leaps out in time, but no tail. Wants to take it down, decides against it. They go for the throne, and that is it. GG calls Alliance. They get 2 0 by OG after what was uh, a pretty good idea to go for the early game. OG outlasts Alliance in game number two. I feel like I just watched Magnus Carlsen play an immaculate ma match of chess. Like, every move. Even if it wasn't perfect, they made it because they had the pieces to give away. Alliance had the extra buybacks, they had the extra lives to work with.
Chase